Welcome to Key Data's newest report, Yield Curve. Yield Curve empowers Key Data users to analyze a booking window for a specific arrival period in greater depth. So let's jump into it. I'm going to start my analysis by first, of course, picking the arrival date that is significant to me. So today we're going to work with a hypothetical spring break arrival, March 6th through 10th. And then we're also going to choose the booking start date, which um, indicates when I think my booking window is going to begin. I'm going to assume that's around October of 2022. You can filter down to market level and also our usual filters, bedrooms, unit types, sleep count, custom unit groups. And you can also choose from a variety of different KPIs, analyzing any two at a time. When I hit apply filters, I jump into the yield curve screen. We've got some uh, data visualizations here at the top, but let's start our analysis with the meat of the report, which are these two tables, week over week pickup and year over year pace. When I look at week over week pickup, it's showing me a descending view of the booking weeks and the two KPIs I selected. This being the most recent week and down here at the bottom, uh, October being what I thought is the beginning of my booking window. When I'm looking at each week over week, I'm seeing here in this example that no action really starts until December 4th, the week of December 4th, 2022, where I pick up my first reservation. As of this week, my ADR values are 108 and my uh, adjusted paid occupancy is at 3%. The following week, this pickup column, which is the um, percentage variance between the two previous numbers, this number and the previous one, it's showing me that I had a 33% growth prior to um, the this week. So 4% is what I grew to, and my ADR also grew by 1%. And that's how this, this works. Each week, I'm seeing what I picked up. The following week, I clearly got no reservations because my occupancy picked up 0%. And then the following week, again, we see a little bit of that growth. And in yield curve, this is what a cancellation will look like. I'm seeing a negative 12% variance between the week of January 1st and January 8th. So this is showing me that I lost some um, revenue here, or at least at the very least lost some occupancy. Um, so I can look overall and zoom out through this booking window, this week over week view of my booking window and find which weeks really brought me in significant bookings or significant revenue and maybe mark those dates on the calendar or analyze, am I picking up at the rate that I expected or was a week performing better or worse than my gut was telling me? When we flip over to year over year pace, it's a similar but different view. This is showing me my um, my booking activity, but it's also giving me the historical view. So these are the same weeks, but when I look over here, I get to see that value as of the same week previous year. So here, let's say January 15th. As of this year, January 15th, my ADR was at $116, but as of 2022, same week last year, my ADR was at 70. So clearly I've grown significantly since last year. Maybe I'm, you know, my rates are better or I uh, was able to remodel some of my units and squeeze out more revenue per each unit. And the same logic applies to occupancy. How was I doing at the same point in time, historically year over year? <clears throat> when I arrive up and look at these um, data visual elements, this uh, graph here is a visualization of my week over week pickup table, and I can flip through a historical views and see how my curve is changing, this being ADR and occupancy. And top performing booking weeks is a table that pulls out the weeks of this year that had the most significant variance and growth. So what I'm seeing here is January 1st, 2023, key data is highlighting occupancy and telling me, oh, wow, your occupancy grew up by 62% prior to the previous week. Um, and that is something, again, to get out your calendars and mark um, weeks of impactful growth. The last elements we'll talk about today are these three KPI cards at the top that show action from the last seven days. I had two new reservations. and the last seven days, my average daily rate was $131, and I was able to grow by 2% in adjusted paid occupancy. So that's a yield curve. We certainly hope it will allow new insights and opportunities for uh, analyzing a booking window.